Welcome back, guys, to episode two of Unboxing My 90s. Yes, just like you saw in the first episode, I headed out to my parents' house to unbox all the things that I had stored under the house when I moved out of home back in the late 90s. So these tubs haven't been touched for over 20 years. They're full of nostalgia. We're going to unbox them on this channel. So please give it a subscribe to keep up with all the new episodes. Here we go with episode two. Okay guys, here we go with unboxing video number two, okay? So you would have seen the intro, and if you didn't, this is what this is about. Basically I've gone underneath the house, at my mum's, and the dad's, and um, pulled out a bunch of old crates and boxes and storage containers, just like the one you see here. Now they were put under this, underneath in around about 1999. Um, and have been there ever since. So 22 years at the time of this video's production, and um, we've been unboxing them. I have no idea what's in them. No idea. And if you saw the first video, it was quite an interesting um, surprise. So here we go. Without further ado, da -da -da -dun, open the lid. Da -da -da -dun. Now, look, as to be expected, Star Wars stuff. Star Wars stuff are plenty. And this guy, oh yeah, we know who he is. Independence Day. There's a little alien inside. Oh, he's trying to control my thoughts. Um, all right, a bit of a TIE fighter. I don't know where the rest is. Hopefully it's in there. Uh, here we go. It's a sort of C-3PO micro machine thing. How do you do? Let's see if it's got anything in it. Oh, it probably does, in fact. I might not open it. Everything will fall. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, it's the cantina. It's the cantina. Oh, and there's the sail barge. Well, maybe not the cantina. Maybe, yeah, the cantina. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, if you collect the old Micro Machine stuff, great look of C-3PO. I mean, it's as golden, just like the real, you know. Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. Creepy. Okay, don't know why. Again, can of beer from the Edda Moga pub brewery or brew um the edamoga pub is of course a fan uh here you go picture of it here literally there is a even though that's a cartoon style literally there is a uh, i'll put a, a picture of it up there we go and uh that's what it looks like in real life um all right lifting up what's this a tiny little okay man of steel type um i reckon that could be from mcdonald's 1996. Yeah, I reckon that's a McDonald's Happy Meal type. Um, okay. Oh, set your phases for stun. Okay. Yep. Doesn't work. Batteries are gone on this. Certainly been there for quite some time. But a fascinating piece. The fa phaser from um, Star Trek Next Generation. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed, guys. Um, now we're looking at some big things. Um, let's see if we can get this out. Wow. Now, it'll be in there. Um, I was about to say, I don't know if I should get it out, but um, this is a Klingon cruiser. Oops, sorry, mind the hand. Uh, that's better, I just had to adjust. Um, let's see what's, if, it's, if it's in there. What the hell is this? Oh, it's Lieutenant Commander Worf. <laughs> All right, he got in there somehow. Okay, All right. well, actually, is it in there or... or is this just more Star Wars stuff? This is a Star Wars ship. Um, wow. Wow. Pretty cool. And look, if you flip it over and I could see inside there, there's kind of it's like some sort of hang glider. Like, there's a dude in there. Hello, dude. Um, yeah, and it does look like the Klingon ship is in there. Oh, no. Come on. Now there are two of them. It is Geordi LaForge. Oh, Geordi. Wow. Are they bubble baths? Do the heads come off? Are they, you know, those bubble bath type ones? Interesting. They do have their labels. No, they're just um, collectibles from, you know, generations. That's the Geordi, that's the generations uniform that, yeah. Yeah, very interesting. Um, 
can see something else in here, some sort of book or comic. Um, it's a bit ripped, but I can tell by the body that's Judge Dredd. Yeah, there's his badge. Uh, looks pretty old school. Looks very, very old school. Um, what's going on here? I don't know if there's any way of um, telling. Uh, does anyone know who these characters are? Look at this guy. He's like Horoscope Man. And he's captured someone there and cocooned them. I know I'm reading this from the back to the front. You don't have to comment about it. Um, anyhow. Uh, Judge Dredd. I don't know what any, any idea of what year. No. Anyhow, um, we'll just, just put that put that somewhere there. Um, but there's the ship. It's in there. It's in there, all right. Um, all right, let's get back to the unboxing. Let's just move these guys over here. Um, oh, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Slow down, slow down. Um, okay, one of those money things. You put the coin in the top. It rolls down, and I'll dare say if I look in there that they won't be, uh, you know, Australian currency. From my memory, I collected and kept anything in here that was um, international or foreign currency. There's a bit of a, a lira. I did tell you in another previous video about my Italian history, and um, uh, a couple of books here. One of them is a wrestling magazine. See, this is incredible. I was just thinking about these magazines the other day because... You know, you'd go into a news agency and you would you would pick up a magazine and you'd either read it if you couldn't afford it or you'd buy it if you could, but everything's digital now. You've got to go online and, and you know, look at these two getting it on down here. Look at Earthquake. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is just crazy, crazy stuff. Look at this. This is like an order section. We could probably subscribe to the magazine itself. There's Hulk Hogan. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is all the wrestling. Look at this order form. Merchandise. You could buy directly from the magazine. Directly from the catalogue, you know. Uh, now everything's online, you know. Oh, ay caramba. <laughs> Yokozuna. Oh. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Anyhow, all right, I'm getting a bit silly, but really, guys, there's no, there's no exaggeration here. This, I'm unboxing things here that are a long time. Look at this. this is a classic golden book, which was probably mine as a kid from the, you know, late 70s. And, um, you know, I've kept it right up until it's unboxing. You know, look at this. Look how happy these people are. They've all got work. You know, trains now, it's just all... You know, there's no station guards, there's no... Oh, toodles. Sad. But yeah, look, you can tell by this this book, this is, this is, this is old, this is, this is 1960s. Well, sorry, 1974. Third printing, but anyhow, copyright, 1945. There you go, that might... 1940, 1970, meet you halfway. Um, okay, what's this? This is a student diary from 1990. Student, oh, oh come on! Who did that? Who did that? That is very rude. One of my friends. I, I would not have done that. That's not the sort of thing I would have done. But it is a student diary. Look at the public holidays back in 1990. When was, when was, when was Christmas? Christmas Day was oh De December 25th. We know that. Can't you give us the day of the week? I mean, was it a Saturday? Look at this scribble I did during probably geography class of. The Batwings attack. There's the Joker. There's his cake. And there's those balloons. You know the scene. You know the scene. January 1990. Just before. Yeah, just before. Here we go. Monday the... Oh, look at this. I had illegal studies on pollution and maths. Australian studies. So I did use this. Once. <laughs> Once. Look at this. Da, 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 da. Back to the future. Marty! That's probably some promo. Oh la la, who have we got here? Oh well, you know, I was, that was the age. Elle McPherson, cover girl, Time Magazine. There she is. So, you know, I've obviously kept this. 
Sure. Now, here we go. This was from the concert. We went to the Heart of Stone tour at the Tennis Centre in 19... 1990, I'd say it was, November. Yep, yep. I went to that with my mother and sister. So I've obviously kept those in my student diary again. Who did that? In the comments, confess. Who did that? Who draws doodles on things? All right. I got excited before. This is the reason why. Please be in good condition. This is an original 1989 or 1990 Brisbane Bears jumper. Yes, in 1987, the Australian Football League... Also, this is from 1990 because there's the AFL logo when we went from the VFL, the Victorian Football League. And if you see that there, it's got the VFL logo. So, I'm, you know, you can sort of know what I'm talking about. Um, and look, that's we'll get this cleaned up. This is worth, I'm going to say it now, a small fortune because the Brisbane Bears merged in 1997 with uh, Fitzroy to become the now Brisbane Lions. Okay, so this jumper is worth a lot of money because that's an original. It's a woolen one. It's not a repo. It's an original one. It's 31 years old. Um, some more coins down there. Right, let's get this other Star Trek vehicle out. This is from Generations, and it is the Enterprise. And look at it blowing up. Look at it blowing. It was pretty cool. It's starting to rain where I am, so if you can hear that. Another one! Another <laughs> Oh, it's Commander Will Riker. <laughs> Let's get him down there with the others. Oh, goodness. I'm going to put these on eBay, by the way. So if anyone's interested, I'll, I'll drop a link to the, the in the comments. of. So there it is in there. I'm not going to get it out. There it is. The Enterprise NCC-1701D. This is Captain Picard. And um, there we go. We'll put that over there next to the uh, Klingon ship. It is starting to rain where I am. I don't know if you can hear that. I hope it's not too loud. Uh, it's probably the base from one of the ships. We'll put that there. Um, what on earth is this going to be? Oh, I know what that is. I know what that is. We'll put that over here. Um, an old Lego. An old wizard. Yeah, an old Lego wizard. Look at him. Just the instructions. Just the instructions, though. Oh, it's wind. The wind is picking up here and it's starting to rain, so I don't know what's going on now. Oh, now I know what this is too, without even looking. Um, how do I do this? Another poncho. I might need that. It's getting wet where I am. No, I'm well undercover, but uh, it's getting a bit wet. Um, two more things. What have we got here? Oh, no, three more things. Oh, 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 come on. This. Over the years, I've said to myself, where on earth did this end up? This is the, you know, the actual portfolio or repro, The Empire Strikes Back. Look at these these images inside, like they're this is original sort of nineteen eighty or something like that, you know, and look look at these images. Look at this Luke on Bespin, you know, um Darth, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dagobah. Uh, I've got to I can't just do this on my knee here because these are actually these are incredibly rare. That is crazy. That is that is that is amazing, folks. That is amazing. I'm gonna put that over here very carefully. Um, last couple of things. What have we got here? This uh, this is a oh, it is a Playmobil Zoo Playmobil Zoo unopened. I never opened this. I'll tell you the story about it in a sec. Let's just pan around and have a look. Look at the family there taking their little one. Mommy, I want to see the elephants. And yes, and it, it just sparked a memory. You, it comes with these textures. So you can, of course, um, paint the stripes on the zebra. Um, or whatever. And you could probably draw doodles on things. Whoever drew the dick on that diary of mine, I'm still upset. How dare you? But yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, stay away from pens. Uh, we can move that. Now, this is a classic. This is from the 1970s. It is a board game of the television show Emergency. Now, you know, Emergency is one of those shows that we just sort of don't talk about anymore. Like, it's just, it's just off the radar. But look, it was a real show. You know, we always talk about Chips, the Californian Highway Patrol, uh, but not Emergency. I mean, this is a... You know, a Milton Bradley game. 
Let's open it because it hasn't been opened in a very long time. Look, there's comes a little fire truck. So that one's broken, is it? And look at this. You pick up a card. There's the board and the dice. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And fire. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's that's off the Al Independence Day alien. Another wrestling magazine, I'd say. It's missing its cover. There's an old video game. Look at the ad. For the old Nintendo. Boom! What else have we got? Oh, Brett Hitman Hart. We all knew him. He was a Canadian champion. One of the best. Yeah. Ah! Anyhow, look at this guy. Look at his attire. His wrestling attire. Pretty cool. Uh, and look at this. Great movie sale. 39 cents. Choose any six movies for 39 cents each. Look, it's got Dances with Wolves, Silence of the Lambs. Wow. Wow. Wayne's World. Pretty cool. Look at this. And that's how you did it, folks. You could order it. None of this streaming. None of this downloading. All this soulless sort of digital stuff. You know, instead of getting your hands on the actual tangible, I guess it would have been tape because that's before DVDs. Uh, and here we go, the final thing, but it looks pretty wrapped in here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, yeah, it's, it's quite wrapped up. I won't open it just now, not with one hand anyway, but Luke Skywalker from the Star Wars collection. And um, I don't know if you can see there, there's a, a Wampa. It's Luke and the Wampa. Uh, I should really open it for you, but uh, I'm not going to because I just, you know, it's going to take two hands. Looks as though some rats have had a bit of fun in here. Oh, great way to spoil a, the end of a video. But anyhow, it doesn't look like they've done much damage. Um, guys, that was a great unboxing. Hope you enjoyed that. Plenty of cool stuff in here. And uh, hopefully we'll get another unboxing video for you real soon. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button. Please leave a comment. You know what I'd love to hear in today's comments? Uh, any of these things that you may have had as a kid. Or if you, your brother or your sister or your cousin had them, did you ever have them yourself? Um, because that's, that's pretty cool. See you all next time. Bye-bye. Okay, and that's what the Hoth Wampa and Luke 12-inch 2-pack looked like when I unboxed it there. As mentioned, I'm putting a lot of these things on eBay, and they are certainly selling pretty fast. If you want to keep up with any of that stuff, E Greg M one E G R E G one at on eBay. So be sure to check it out. Subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.